Creating a fax and simulation zim vendor can get tedious, especially if you're working under a deadline. Luckily, there are some shortcuts that can help you save time and effort. I'm talking about add-ons. And in today's video, we're focusing on geonodes and procedural add-ons that can help you save your sanity. We're gonna start with Omega Particle Effects, which is a collection of geometry node-based effects organized into six categories. Elemental, Electricity, Sparks, Magic, Destruction, and Decoration. Each one comes as a blend file, and all the effects are editable and ready to be plugged into your scenes. You will get everything from lightning bolts and energy beams, to magical portals and destruction-style effects, like bursts or sparks. Everything is driven by geometry nodes, which means you can fine-tune things like emission rate, movement, and look without messing around with baked simulations. If you drop in a collection and want to tweak it, just uncheck Instance or hit Ctrl plus Z after placing it, and you're good to go. The pack also includes textures, a guide, and a catalog to help you stay organized. Next, we have Dynamic VFX from Southern Shari 3D. This one focuses on elemental effects like fire, lightning, rain, snow, burst flying, balloons floating, and magical energy effects, like trails or shields. The effects are customizable through both sliders and geometry nodes, so whether you just want quick adjustments or more detailed control, I think this is a flexible way to do that. It works smoothly in EV for fast previews, and you can switch to cycles if you're going for more realistic renders. The pack also gets regular updates, so you will keep getting more content over time, which is helpful if you're often building effects heavy scenes. Another interesting add on is called Frosty Ice Tools by a developer called Mayhew. This add on is built for adding frost, ice, and snow to your scenes, and it does most of the heavy lifting through geometry nodes and procedural shaders. You will find here five main tools Geo Snow, Geo Icing, Geo Snowflakes, and two shader based options. GeoSnow and GeoIcing focus on surface covering, like snow piling up on roofs or ice forming around windows. You can actually control how thick or dense it gets, and even the shape of the crystals. GeoSnowflakes is all about falling snow, and it gives you control over turbulence, size, and how heavy the snowfall looks. The Pro version comes with a library of over 800 assets, so you can just drag and drop icy elements into your scene. Now let's switch gears and talk about GeoSprites, which takes a completely different approach. Instead of simulating everything in 3D, it uses animated 2D textures on flat planes, kind of like sprites in video games. So instead of baking simulations, you can just drop in an asset, hit play, and see it work instantly. In its core, you will find GeoSprites version 2 Master Node, a geometry node setup that lets you handle things like fire, smoke, water splashes, and steam. You can use it as a modifier for basic stuff, or dive into the Geometry Node Editor if you want more control. It also includes extra sprite objects and shader nodes, so you can tweak the look and the style however you want. The whole idea is to save time and make it easy to experiment without spending a lot of time waiting for simulations. Moving on to lighting effects, which is exactly what it sounds like, a procedural lighting generator using geometry nodes. It's built so you can place an emitter, assign a mesh, and have lighting naturally wrap around or interact with your geometry. Everything's handled in a single modifier, so there is no need to set up extra materials or node trees. You can tweak the glow, distortion, and even add sparks or smoke from the same interface. There's also an optimization tool to merge overlapping curves, which can help with performance, and you can bake the lightning paths if you need to animate them. If you're going for stylized electricity or something more natural, this tool gives you enough control to dial the kind of lightning you need without making things complicated. And if your project leans more towards using fire, the real flame generator is worth checking out. The geometry node setup lets you create fire effects with a good amount of control. Once it is added to your project through the modifier panel, you can start tweaking everything from density, size, and speed, to more specific controls, like velocity, gravity, and noise. 
The flame behavior is entirely node driven, and it uses a material called Flame Additive Blend, which works well in both EV and Cycles. If you're using Cycles and run into those typical black artifacts, just increase the transparent light bounces in the render settings. There is also support for custom color gradients. Inside the real time flame material node tree, you can plug in a color ramp to set your own palette, whether you are going for realistic heat or a more stylized look. Generally speaking, the setup is flexible and easy to integrate into all different kinds of scenes. Next, we're going to talk about disintegration effects, which is a collection of procedural templates built with Blender simulation nodes designed for creating dynamic disintegration effects. It works with both static and animated characters using a guide mesh and steel mesh system that ensures proper vertex alignment for accurate simulations. You can control the effect using one or two controller objects, typically empties, which determine where and how the mesh breaks apart. The pack includes multiple template types, like vanishing geometry, particle-only setups, volume-based dust, and even collision relative simulations. Most of them support custom materials and attributes, including shader-based transparency and particle texture transfer from the original mesh. For added realism, you can use your own particle objects and collections. And by the way, everything is non-destructive and customizable, with support for both EV and cycles. Now, if you're doing more scientific or abstract work, the Aerodynamic Streamline Simulator offers a different kind of effects tools. This Blender system simulates aerodynamic streamlines around objects, visualizing how particles flow and react to collisions in real time. Once added to your asset browser and dropped into your scene, it loads a pre-configured setup with four main components, a simulation object, a spawn object, a collision object, and a kill zone. These define where particles start, interact, and disappear. The system is customizable, with control emission direction, noise behavior, particle size, and speed. Higher sub-steps improve accuracy at the cost of performance. You can adjust mesh complexity, replace any component using the eyedropper tool, and tweak wind-like behavior via noise scale and strength. For animations that need motion-driven visuals, Trail Effects gives you a flexible system for generating trailing effects from animated objects in Blender. The system works by assigning a reference object, usually a curve or duplicated edge that follows the motion of the main mesh. This reference acts as the input path for effects like energy streaks, smoke trails, fire ribbons, particles, or even liquids. Each effect is controlled through a dedicated modifier where you can fine-tune behaviors such as trail length, subdivision, glow strength, or displacement. Visual details are handled through the customization materials. Over 30 presets are included, offering a range of stylized looks from clean glows to heat distortion. You can even dig into unique material properties under the Custom Properties tab to push the visuals further. The add-on has built-in support for a wide range of animated elements, from props to characters, with options to mix effects animated parameters, and big simulations when you are ready to render. Last but not least, we're going to talk about procedural customizable muzzle flash. In a nutshell, it lets you add high-impact gunfire effects to your animations without slowing down your workflow. The good thing, it is designed for both EV and cycles, and it uses no volumetrics, keeping your renders fast while still achieving that layered, fiery look. You can control the flash entirely through geometry nodes and shaders, with 11 tweakable parameters covering shape, brightness, color, and more. You can also generate secondary muzzle flashes automatically, and these can be adjusted for count, rotation, tilt, spacing, and everything you would need to match rapid fire or cinematic sequences. By default, they use their own material, but you can link them to the primary flash instantly through a toggle. The download includes the core muzzle flash asset with the full modifier setup and materials. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these Geonode and procedural add ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys find this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up 
You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.